Hey guys, what up, Shadow? My day. Hope you guys are right. Cause I'm too fine now. So today we have got a challenge cup match with Golden Cause Seven, aka GR Seven. He's a great friend of mine. He gives HD non-narrated uh, showdown and slash Pokemon online battles. You can go check him out. You some of you guys might remember him from his vids or something like that. So let's look, have a look at this battle. How it do? I will just post narrate the whole battle right now, and let's see. So he's gonna start it with his clang. I'm just gonna start it with my ninjas. So I know this uh, that my ninjas has no chance of defeating this clan. So I just switch out in my Rikosa. Basically predicting he uses some his crazy ass moves. He goes he goes for the hidden power fire. It does nothing to me. I go for the mud slap because really at this point you know my Rikosa has like mud slap, uh, captivate and uproar and one more move. Uh, you know, basically non-damaging uh, non damaging move, which did almost nothing. So, no, no, my only chance was to have some, dis uh, you know, mud slaps, uh, you know, mud uh, slaps, spa uh, spam, or whatever. What I'm saying, you know. So, he goes for the Samstorm, basically just boosting up my mud slap right now. And just, he's just spamming me with hidden powers. I don't know why, uh, I just don't know why he's switching out right now. I, I just go for the mud slaps, you know. And he's just, you know, his accuracy is be just being lowered and lowered. And eventually, he will be killed at this point. So you guys just see at this point, I'll just stop narrating this battle right now for now, until his uh, clang is dead, you know, right now. So basically, right now, after this much slap, uh, his accuracy was 0 0.38, he had nothing to do with me right now, so eventually he was going killed, now he switched on to the Vaporeon, basically just, you know, thinking of doing some uh, crazy ice ass moves, like uh, Ice Beam or something like Aurora Beam, so I predicted that really well, and go into my Magnus Zone, because Ice Beams, or like this Aurora Beam did nothing to me, and right now he's going for the score, the 39% did a lot more than expected, and I'm gonna go for the Wild Charge, and even take the 37% predicted, uh, that, uh, <laughs> Why I'm saying recoil damage, so I know that at this point I have to sacrifice my Magnus Zone because he's gonna go for one more scald, basically, uh, you know, uh, coming lowering me to such a health at which when I go for a wild charge, I'm gonna be dead with the recoil damage and even his Vaporeon. So, but yeah, it was not in vain. This Vaporeon was a big threat to my team considering you know I had my Amoongus, and but yeah, I still have my Amo Amoongus with a Giga Drain, so it absolutely could do nothing so now he brings this jamu jamu maka i go for my ninjas just predicting you know anything badass is adding badass things and so i just think like okay uh, my jamu maka could easily take me on with some crazy ass fire type moves so i just switch out into my records at this point he goes for the hidden power and it's a uh, super effective on me basically it was some uh, you know hidden power what dragon or ice or something like that so I'm basically going for some, you know, uh, this, uh, much slapping this thing because that's the only move I have to take on this Darumaka or any of his fire type uh, as uh, assholes. So he just goes for the, you know, hidden power ice or something, whatever that hidden power is. Basically, it was ice only. So, but yeah, I'm just spamming him like much slaps, and he's going down with the accuracy and even not hitting me that much. But unfortunately, just look at this battle. You know, he's at like 0.38 into accuracy. And still, at this time, he hits his hidden power. He hits his hidden power constantly, and I'm like, okay, okay. Now he's bring me, uh, my, he's bring my recorder to such a hell that it can be easily taken out, out by his thunderous shockwave, and I'm gonna down. So I was like, really, you know, it was such a, you know, pain in the ass this thunderous because I was like, okay, I had no uh, strategy, you know, for this thunderous. I had like a uh, wild plume, my Oshawott, my Ninjask, and my Amoongus. Four Pokemon was left, and this Thunderous could have any air type moves because it has like a, it is like flying and electric. So, and uh, you know, GR7 was with me at the Skype chat, so he told me that this Thunderous was a prankster, uh, sub combined variant. So I was like, okay, okay. But he didn't use any substitutes, alright. So it was my, basically, my plain strategy was to go for some, you know, Sun Sport because I know that my Wild Plume is faster than this thing with the Thunderous, and I was like, okay, I'll go for uh, the Sun Sport, just paralyze this thing, and go switch out into my. Uh, I'll show it and go for some ice beams or ice type moves and fuck this thunderous pretty hard and he goes for the facade at this time and I know this thing has a facade, the shock wave and some air type move, a uh, flying type move, why I'm saying air type so alright but he didn't use air type moves or why I'm saying air type you know flying type moves so I was like okay it's safe to be there you know it's safe for uh, no he doesn't have any air type moves I mean flying type, okay I'll just air type no air type moves and right now I bring in my Osha Ward because you know I can just, I cannot, you know, just, you know, you just leave my death, uh, white plume as death water because it had so much, 
you know, it was so great because it can go for certain sports and basically reduce the my opponent's uh, Pokemon speed to a half and which is really good. Then my Pokemon can attack first because my remaining Pokemon had really great attacks like Giga Drain, Mega Drain and etc etc. And yeah, I go for the Ice Beam and eventually, you'll just, you guys just see, you know, eventually it did not, you know, it just did not Oko this thing. This one does. It did like 70 something, 70, 70% 70 or something, or 60%, 61%, alright? So, and right now, I was like totally busted because this thing can go for the shockwave and take out my Oshawott really easily. And then I remember that this, this Oshawott like was a small squirrel, water type squirrel thing, and it had like a very small base attack power and special attack power. So, yeah, I was really, you know, uh, like doomed. Okay, but yeah, right now he gets the power hacks and he could, was not able to move. I go for the ice beam and I just did his thunderous. He was really you know, upset about this thing. He told me in the Skype chat that he was really upset by, about this thing. And then he switched on into his Godiwar, showing me that he has a Godiwar. And I was like, okay, this thing is gonna be, you know, he's gonna make me just cry because he has some crazy ass psychic type moves and gonna bust my ass. And Amoongus was nothing because this thing has those uh, psychic type crazy ass moves which can take on. But yeah, right now, you know, you'll see that this thing is going for the rain dance, basically boosting up my water type moves. But I still go for the ice beam because it does pretty, you know, pretty hard on this guy where then it goes for the snatch and then it goes for the captivate. And at the end, you will see this thing goes for the last move which is gonna be uh, yeah, I recycle. So yeah, this guy where was a complete waste. It was like complete waste. It was not even meant to be a Pokemon right now. He was thinking, all right. So it didn't ha even have a single attacking move. Just some, uh, you know, useless non-damaging moves, which did nothing to my Oshawott. And yeah, so that was it. Now I was writing lol. I was spamming lols at this time because really, it was a you know complete waste of a Gardevoir, a strong ass Pokemon Gardevoir. So now you realize that he has a Toxic Rogue at this point, which could be a threat to my team. But now I'm a Moongus right at this point. So okay, he goes for the dual chops and eventually I, you know, just take some two dual chops at this point and go for some water guns, eventually making it him strive to like 58% uh, of his health and then he kills my Oshawott. I'm like, okay, that's fine, that's fine by me. I go on my ninjask and just thinking that I have more speed than him and then I'm going for the sw swords dance. But then I just see, you know, I just pause the battle and then I just see that, you know, my ninjask has no good moves it just has like giga drain and bug bite which can do nothing to this toxic rogue and right now but i'm into two into attack and like it's a just complete waste to my ninjask i just leave it as death water and basically go for the bug bite thinking you know if it has some berry and it had the window window berry yep it had the window berry and it just ate it so that's it that's the end of my ninjask right here he goes for the dual chop at this point and knocks out my ninjask like it's just a little pesky and or you know whatever rhymes thing and like this is like flying something uh yeah whatever that is uh, and he goes for the among us yeah I, i'm going for the among us right now he just goes for the doodle chop but he now he knows that he has nothing you know in front of my among us because this thing is bulky as hell and does not just listen to any freaking toxic rogue that that you know slim poison type anything whatever that is so i knock him out with two returns and that was the end of the game yeah guys, you can check him out, uh, the link to his channel will be in the description, he does great showdown battles, but yeah, they're non-narrated, and that's it, I guess, that's it, showing the ones out, so, uh, yeah, there will be a, you know, uh, explanation video coming up right now with me, and I'll be just recording it after some time right now, or in the, on this day only, and you guys just check it, uh, you know, just check it out, because it will be so cool, so amazing, so, yeah, that's it, you know. That's a shadow's out, so peace.